Come on, there. Ready? She thinks my track. You're sexy. Come on. What's the, how does that go? What's the rest of the song? <laughs> you must take me for a fool. Chris and Henry here today. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Kubota side-by-sides, uh, whether you get a two-seater, four-seater, or a cab unit. Kubota has the, the unit for you uh, in the diesel market. Uh, you know, we're going to do a little bit of an overview today of each unit uh, to give you the pros and cons of each one and uh, potentially what you're looking for to, to suit your needs. Uh, so we're going to jump right into it, talking about the RTV 1120. Oh, right up into the right up into the wind. He's like, ah, it's perfect. I can smell everything. So we're going to talk a little bit about the open uh, two-seaters uh, that would involve with the Kubota side-by-sides, either the uh, 1120 or the 900. Uh, they're both very similar. Uh, the 1120 goes a little bit quicker. Uh, if you look up in literature and everything, it goes about 12% quicker, uh, which equates to about six kilometers. The thing to know is it's still not very speedy. It may be a little bit quicker, but not that much. Realistically, uh, whenever you're looking at a two-seater, you're going to be ch picking between the 900 and 1120. Both very similar units. The 1120 comes with, like I said, a little bit quicker. Um, on top of that, you're gonna get a little bit different lights and usually you're gonna get uh, some mag rims with it as well. And then you can choose your color between camo and, uh, and orange. Uh, most people are choosing the orange as the, the camo is about a thousand dollar option. After that, you know, uh, you know, working our way from the front to the back on them, you have the nice brush guard out front. Uh, a lot of people like to get uh, the 4,000 pound winch with it. They all come standard with uh, front front lights on them. Uh, most people get the roof and a windshield. Um, underneath the hood, uh, there's just a, really a horn and a small rad under there. The engine and transmission are all towards the rear of the unit on all the diesels. Um, you know, the transmission is, a, is a hydrostatic, uh, just kind of like the small tractors. Uh, you have two ranges, high and low, uh, with reverse on it. One thing that they've worked on going from the old 1100s to the new uh, Dash Xs in 2015 uh, was the shifting. It's still not perfect, especially if you're on a little bit of an incline up or down, uh, trying to go from, four, uh, from high to reverse or something like that uh, can get a little bit tricky. It is 100% better than the old ones where they had to have uh, an extra release uh, for the transmission and everything like that, but, uh, and pump the brakes and, and hope that it shifted, whereas uh, it's gotten a lot better, can still use some improvement. So it's a nice, simple, easy to run machine uh, with the power steering, uh, you have your accelerator pedal and a brake. One of the, uh, again, one of the cons of the unit is, uh, and it goes through all the diesels, is there's not a whole lot of room in the operator station. Uh, if you're a taller person, you know, six foot four or something like that, uh, you're gonna feel a little bit jammed up in there. Uh, for the average person, uh, not too bad. And it's also the flip side, if you're a little bit short, uh, it can be a little bit difficult to reach the pedals. Is they're not right below you, they're more centered. So uh, all there is is seat adjustment to move about four inches forward, so, uh, and about, maybe an inch back. So there's not a whole lot there uh, for the adjustment for, for some comfort. Uh, one thing they do have is the side doors. Once you get over 45 kilometers an hour, you need the, the, the safety doors on there um, in case somebody somehow falls out of them. Uh, one feature that all the diesels have is the hydraulic dump box. Uh, makes life great if you're doing any fencing. Uh, this time of year, we're uh, up here in uh, Ontario. Uh, you're getting into maple syrup season, so we have a lot out there uh, for collecting sap and stuff like that. Yeah, so that kind of gives you a general overview of the 1120. There's quite a few options. You can customize it pretty much however you like. A lot of it's available either through Kubota or uh, one of the other companies we use for some of the more specialized items is uh, Orange Aftermarket uh, for oversized tires and things like that. For the things like a uh, roof and a windshield, you're just gonna go to your Kubota dealer and get that. So yeah, so that's pretty much uh, what we have on the 1120 to give you an idea of what it's like uh, for the open station uh, two-seaters uh, for Kubota. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the 1140, the four-seater edition from Kubota. Oh, that wind, eh? <laughs> You're loving life, eh? Talk a little bit about the RTV 1140, the four-seater edition from Kubota. So it's basically the same uh, on the front end of the of the side-by-side, -side, so they're kind of very similar, uh, whether it's a two-seat or a four-seat, it's on the rear that everything changes. There's a lot of bracketry and everything to make it from two-seat to four-seat that incorporates the rear dump box, so it's nice whenever it's uh, 
all folded up as it is currently. Uh, it gives you an extra large dump box. We have quite a few out there for, uh, for maintenance and everything like that. Lots of guys like that uh, for whenever you're moving a couple, like up to four or five people. Uh, it makes it nice and smooth uh, to move that. But also whenever it's just down to two people, uh, you can bring extra supplies with you, uh, whether it's fencing or uh, in around this area, we have a lot at CFB Petawawa uh, to move, move people and products around. Um, and again, it is a fully incorporated uh, hydraulic dump box, not a manual dump or electric. Uh, so it's nice that way. Basically, it is the same ride as on all three styles. Uh, there really isn't much change on that with the independent rear suspension and the power steering. So the big thing is, it, uh, instead of two seats, it's got four, and it is extra long to incorporate that. Uh, one of the nice things, too, is uh, if you did want a cab for it, uh, it is orderable through Kubota. It has the Curtis cab. Uh, it is relatively expensive, and it only uh, you're only able to get, get heat with it, unlike uh, the 1100, which has heat and air conditioning. But it, it does make it an all-season machine. Then at that point, if you put a set of tracks on it, and away you go uh, for the winter. Uh, the last unit we have here today is uh, the RTV 1100. Uh, it's Kubota's most popular unit. Uh, it's got the factory cab with your heat and air conditioning. Uh, again, it is uh, pretty much the exact same as the RTV uh, 900s and 1120s, other than uh, other than the cab so uh, if you're looking for comfort while you're out and about uh, this is the way to go uh, it is a fantastic way to go to be honest uh, you know if you're not going to move uh, people and kids around uh, you know they can do it in comfort where you got the like you talked about you got your heat air conditioning radio you know you can put extra work lights up uh, up top uh, in behind uh, you get the winch out front it's basically a, an all-in-one package uh, with tons of options available uh, you're going to do everything you want in comfort. We have them out there for, uh, people love them for ice fishing, again, for doing maple syrup. Uh, and then you got it right down to people who do it, use them for fencing, uh, for in around the farm. And then last but not least, the most popular use of all is moving grandkids around. Uh, that happens a lot, uh, whether it's waiting for the bus or just touring around the property. Kids don't care where you go as long as they get to go. So it's got the hydraulic dump box with it. Uh, it's all standard equipment. Uh, you know, we have this one set up here today for uh, on tracks. So whenever we get snow again, it's gonna go through it like nothing. So if you're looking for any more information or uh, the actual RTV uh, 1100 in snow, uh, check out uh, Mainville ATV. He's got a wicked video showing all that with his wife. Uh, I highly recommend checking that out. So that kind of gives you a quick overview of uh, the 1100. So. Uh, again, very similar ride as the other units, just uh, just has that factory cab, so you got, uh, uh, so it's a little bit quieter, as well as uh, you got your heat and air conditioning for comfort. So that brings us to the end of today's video. It's kind of a quick overview of the diesel uh, options that are available through Kubota, whether it's the uh, open station two-seater with the 900 and 1120, uh, the four-seater 1140, or the factory cab 1100. It kind of gives you a quick overview of those units. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll get back to them.